Okay, here we have a Honda throttle body unboxing times two. Uh, so the first box here, this is a 68 millimeter Holly throttle body for a B series. So we're going old school here. B series also fits the D series. Uh, it'll fit a H, H22, H23 should fit. Uh, so the 68 millimeter, let's measure this up. The 68 millimeter in actuality measures 65.6 at, at the mouth and 65.4 at the throat. So that's kind of to be expected. It's gonna be a little smaller on that side, but the 68 is not 68 millimeters. Um, so we got the, the mat bolts under the top and that goes around the back here. So that, that's gonna function fine. It has the idle air control valve port and it also has the uh, Cola idle port for the bottom here. So that's, uh, that's a nice touch if you use it, but nobody uses that one. Uh, this top one is handy. You know, you can get them to work without it, but it is much easier to have it. Uh, the one thing this throttle body does not have is the idle air bleed. Um, in some pictures the Holly had it, some pictures it didn't. When I bought this one online direct from, direct from Holly, came from Holly, it actually showed it in the picture that there was an idle air bleed. And that's actually the reason I bought it. I bought this to reduce, or to, to replace my 70 millimeter BBK, uh, which is great, but I just sold it. Uh, and it doesn't have the idle air bleed. So, uh, just something interesting. It does come with a gasket. And the gasket looks to be Make sure this works. Yeah, the gasket looks like it fits okay. And going on a GG Edelbrock manifold, which measures, these measure about 65 millimeters. Yeah, 65. So the throttle plate, it should clear just fine. Yeah, it, it clears. It's gonna need work inside the uh, GG manifold. I'm gonna have to bore that out. Uh, let's see, but, What's going on here? But, 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 but. Yeah, no, that, that looks fine. I was worried that the idle air port would not be completely covered here, but it's just covered. So this gasket is gonna see some, it would, if I was gonna use this throttle body, it would see some, some RTV around the edge probably right there because um, there's not a lot, whole lot of coverage so that's uh, this throttle body looks like it would work it feels it feels okay it is a little bit s stiff this part um, but I guess you want good spring tension to keep it closed and this is a uh, this is adjustable as well so you know it shouldn't be a problem setting up the Holly 68 millimeter throttle body, although it is not 68 millimeters. Okay, so that's uh, that's that. And our next throttle body we have here, this is a VMS, and this is advertised as a 74 millimeter throttle body. So VMS gasket, uh, mounting hardware. So Allen had looked like stainless for the throttle body to the intake, and then from the map, sensor to bolt it to the throttle body as well. So that's that. Let's make sure the gasket's good. It's always a puzzle. Aha, that way. So the gasket looks like it'll work well. So this one here, we got the map sensor bolts to the top, pretty standard. Oh, there's the idle air bleed on the bottom. So that's interesting. I've never seen that on the bottom of a Honda throttle body before. And that would go to this guy right in the back. So that should work, no problems. Uh, this one does not have the uh, cold idle valve, no provision for that. And then they've gone and moved the stock Honda idle air port, which is usually up here. And on the Honda, sorry, on the Holly, it's up there. So they've moved that to the bottom. And so that, goes to the other side to here, which lines up with this port in the manifold. So that should be no problem. Just a little bit of a different design. 
And then this guy here, being a, a 74, it's, uh, it's big. 74 millimeters, and in actuality, the VMS, oh, 74.83 at the mouth, so it's bigger than advertised. And 71.95 at the throat so that's good it's bigger than my old bbk this one here feels definitely less stiff than the holly it actually feels a lot smoother for some reason um this throttle body i just got on ebay and it was cheap i think it was uh like under 150 bucks shipped so that looks looks good yeah gasket looks like full coverage It's big, but you see how much I'm gonna have to port this manifold. Huge. Well, this this is 65, and then this is uh, what did I say? 70, 73. I'm getting old, forgetting everything. Seventy one point seven going across that way. Seventy one point nine going across that way. So yeah, from sixty five to seventy nine, we're gonna have to open this up. So throttle body blade. Well, I wasn't sure if it would hit the actual manifold but it doesn't the throttle body blade clears just fine but you can see how much meat is going to have to be removed from this JG manifold uh, so good luck with your stalker your B18 B16 manifold uh, there's going to be a lot of material you're going to need to to remove so I'll have to uh, I'll get the sharpie out and then you're going to have to basically uh, carve out A whole lot of this is going to line up these bolts. Yeah, so basically, we're carving out all this much of this gasket. Yeah, all this is going to come out. We'll start with that, start with chopping that out with the grinder and then take it from there. So as far as the throttle body reviews go, for the money, VMS looks like a great piece. Very comparable to my old BBK, except the BBK did not have the idle rib lead. And this is in fact a couple of millimeters bigger. So the VMS looks awesome. Um, I'll, I'll try it out and see how it runs. The Holly, if you can pick up a Holly, for cheap, um, I still like the feel of this. I'd probably suggest to not buy the Holly. Um, some guys really rely on that idle air bleed. You definitely do not need one. You can tune out the idle perfectly fine without it. But you know, it just doesn't feel nice. And for the advertised part, 68 millimeter. You know, if you're turbo, you don't even need a throttle body whatsoever. But I'm not turbo. I'm all, all motor. I need all the help I can get. So the the Holly, I would not buy. You know, at at any rate because this thing is, is basically the same price. All right, so there's your uh, your double Honda aftermarket throttle body review um, for bolting onto, well, a JG, JG manifold. Oh, another thing, this Zerg gasket, about uh, three or four meters thick. So this one here is basically A no-go on either throttle body I would guess 
Yeah, the Zerg throttle body gasket is garbage for, for either of these applications. Um, yeah, I should get a stock throttle body and see if it would fit anything, but uh, so this is basically a waste of money for what I'm doing. Can't use it. All right, everybody, that's all for today. Like, subscribe, as always. Fifteen more seconds for this video. So, let's compare stickers. I know everybody always comes with stickers. Uh, kind of thin, reflective, holly, you know, toolbox sticker. It's all right. Um, VMS, also somewhat reflective. Looks more metallic. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably uh, go with the VMS sticker if I was going to put it on, uh, you know, a car, which I never do. But uh, for the box, toolbox, either one is equally fine.